Hi there and welcome to today's lesson on time. At the end of today's lesson, we should be able to tell time in seconds and minutes, solve quantitative aptitude problems on time, read timetables of journeys, especially by train and airplanes, and also use time to plan daily activities. Now, time is a very important factor in our lives as humans. It helps us to understand the sequence of events in the past, present, and future. The fundamental or standard unit for time is the second, written in a small letter S. People use analog or digital clocks and watches to tell the time. An analog clock has moving hands and is usually marked from 1 to 12. On the other hand, a digital clock shows the time using numbers only. So, analog clocks show 12-hour time while digital clocks show 24-hour time. Digital clocks are mostly used in places like railway stations, airports, radio stations and other public places. Subtract 12 from the hour of any time past 12 p.m. on the 24-hour clock diagram to find its 12-hour digital clock counterpart. For example, 1534 minus 12 hours, this is 334 p.m. on a digital clock. Now let us answer some few questions on conversion of time. 1. How many minutes are there in 5 hours? Well, we know that 60 seconds make 1 minute, and 60 minutes make 1 hour, and 24 hours make 1 day. Excellent! So if there are 60 minutes in 1 hour, then 5 hours will be 5 times 60 minutes. 5 times 60 minutes is 300. Therefore, there are 300 minutes in 5 hours. Number 2. Calculate the number of days in 120 hours. Now, to calculate the number of days in 120 hours, we simply divide by 24. So, if 24 hours make one day, then 120 hours will make 120 hours divided by 24. 120 divided by 24 is 5. Therefore, 120 hours makes 5 days. Do we all understand? Now let's move on. Meet Adetunji. He wants to travel to Kaduna from Abuja by train. Now at the train station, he sees a timetable showing the departure time of the train from Abuja to Kaduna. However, arrival time was not on the timetable. Without any stop, it takes 2 hours to get to Kaduna from Abuja by train. So if Adetunji follows the 10.35 train, what time is he expected to arrive in Kaduna? Let us help him calculate his arrival time to Kaduna. All we need to do is to add 2 hours to 10.35. So 10.35 plus 2 hours is 12.35. Therefore, Adetunji's estimated time of arrival is 12.35. Now let's try another. If Sylvester brushes his teeth for 2 minutes in the morning and 2 minutes in the evening, how much time will he have spent brushing his teeth in one week? Now from the question, we can gather that Sylvester spends 4 minutes brushing his teeth every day. We do know that there are 7 days in a week, right? Now. All we need to do is to multiply 4 minutes by the number of days in a week. 4 times 7 is 28 minutes. Therefore, Sylvester spends 28 minutes brushing his teeth in one week. Now this brings us to the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we learned how to tell time and also how to read timetables of journeys and plan daily activities. Now, it's assessment time. 